All right, good morning, guys. So I have a treat for y'all. Okay, so a couple things that I missed. Someone had commented in one of my videos that I should use ability points, right? So I was very confused. I was like, ability points? What does he mean by ability points? Well, I go over to my character and I'm like, well, I'm leveling up. I don't see anything that, you know, has ability points, right? Then I scroll over to knowledge. Guys, I've been playing this entire time without knowing this existed. So you get experience based on what you do in the game. So you get experience for gathering, of course, for workshop, for combat, and for social. So I thought all the experience I was gaining was just for my overall character. Well, it is, but it's also for these knowledge nodes. So as you can see here, this one says, I get more XP for mining. This one says I get more XP for logging, more XP for gathering, more stamina. You know, you go over to workshop, more XP for furniture, more for making items at the work table, more for like constructing things, combat, you know, more health, more damage with the gun. I'm like, am I, I was crazy this entire time to not know this existed for social. Look at this more xp for talking to people uh more xp people for you know doing day-to-day -day life more xp for commissions like i did not know any of this existed and i am <laughs> i'm very upset at myself so if you guys are playing and you also didn't know this existed i'm just letting you know now that th this is a thing oh well actually i don't so right now i have four knowledge points in social so i'm gonna do one per commission confirm which unlocks these let's see extra reward received when turning in high quality okay all commission rewards increased by five percent while ranked in top three okay uh reward gain complete commission the same day actually that's pretty nice so i want to go ahead and do these commission ones just because i've been doing a lot of commissions and i think that'll work out better uh for combat Increase melee damage. Yes, of course. Oh, you can learn the three hit combo with the sword and shield. Learn three hit combo with heavy sword. Learn three hit combo with spear and three hit combo with the daggers. I'm going to come back to that one because right now I'm just using the hammer. Uh, for workshop, let's see what I got. Gain more XP for work table more for the assembly station let's do more for the assembly station i use that a lot more what's this better chance to get high quality items yep and then even better chance to get high quality items i just want to go ahead and max out the assembly station perks right now I still have five more points in workshop, so I'm not really worried about furniture because I'm to be honest with you, I'm not worried about like decking out my house right now. I, uh, really, I'm just trying to get through like, you know, the story. I'm trying to explore the world. The house is going to be about the last thing I really focus on. It's probably a big part because you probably get a lot of stats on furniture, but that's just the way I prefer to play. So let's go ahead and max out this work table here. Three more points. Water used by machines slow by 10%. Wow, see, that's good. Fuel usage slowed and improved machine production speed. They're all good. Mm. I'll do one of each. All right, so for gathering. Max stamina all the way. Stamina restored by ordering food increased by 10%. Yes, please. And this one's not unlocked yet. Probably unlocked in the future update. Uh, let's see. I've been doing a lot of mining. So let's increase that. 10% chance to return two points of stamina on hit. And gain 10% chance to get extra materials. Yep, go ahead and get that. What else we got? When mining, gain 10% chance to receive an extra power stone, 10% chance to receive an extra gem, 10% chance to receive an extra nitrate, and 
to receive extra data disk. Mm. Mm. Let's do login. Let's see. Two points of stamina returned by logging or when kicking trees. Okay, and then we'll do three and gather. I'll just do those for now. Get twice as much dew when collecting herbs. Men get twice as many dredge. Okay, yeah. And of course, combat, I still have five. But I want to see... Mm, right, like I said, I'm using a hammer, but I might want to switch to great sword or sword and shield. So I'm going to leave those there. So yeah, guys, that's the ability point aspect that I... <laughs> It completely went over my head. Okay, so besides that, if I go over to my quest here, we have to go to Dr. Chi. So remember he banged up the robot suit that we built him? He wanted us to repair it. So that's what we're about to go do right now. Oh, uh, so far away. And I didn't run out of horse this week, but it's all right. I've been playing this game for what maybe 30 plus hours <laughs> and I have not used a single ability point until now I missed out on so much experience so so much experience all right dr. Chi oh, poor robot suit good it seems you followed my instructions to not make any mistakes. These materials will do. Oh, I look pretty cool. Can I keep the welding mask? They should let me keep the welding mask. Really, I was hoping I would like repaint the suit or something, but it's okay. Good. It was no small task, but it's done. I almost hate to put the suit back into the field, as impeccable as it looks now. But alas, bound to the pursuit of knowledge, I must. Need anything else? Presently, your assistance is no longer required. The subsequent tasks to be completed require knowledge far beyond your area of expertise. Goodbye. Oh, okay. Well, before I go, I have data disk because a few things I haven't purchased, like the silver grinder, but I haven't had a need for it. And then the blender it mixes various raw materials and dice things into powder. Like I said, I haven't had a need for any of those. Uh, of course, I can upgrade the cooking station. Uh, I barely even cook. And in a refiner, a machine that allows one to increase the quality of already made items using different materials. See, that seems like it could be really good. And then the jewelry, of course, if you want to start making accessories. So I guess I will. Well, just to get this out the way, let's go ahead and make the silver grinder. You know, of course, Hello. wait for that diagram to come in. So besides that. We can go ahead and complete one of our main objectives. And really that is de-stressing everyone from all the events that are happening and by building this sand, what is it called? Sand running kiosk. So I have to go back to my workshop. Um, another update, I did upgrade my assembly station to the iron assembly station. Currently in the game as it is right now, that is the highest one you can go to. So, of course, I'm pretty sure as they update the game, add more story and more quests and all that, they'll add like a level three. Shoot, they might go even to level four or five, but we don't know. Run over here. I have everything I need. So it is right here. Symbol. Right. 
And then where are we installing this? Oh, that is pretty far. Where is it? Where are we installing this? All the way up there. Yep. Fast travel. Taxi. Taxi. All right, let's run over here. The plane just flew by. I've seen the shadow, but I can't see the plane. Oh, there it is. I need to, what is this right here? Raw materials. What do I get? Okay, I get marble and graphite. Oh, and knitter. That's pretty nice, okay. Install. All right, all right, all right, this looks great. You're legit, Builder. And you're gonna love what we do at the Sand Runner Extravel Plaza. I guarantee it. Extravel Plaza? I'll be in my museum devising plans. I'll make sure this is the best dang attraction this town has ever seen. Check your mailbox. I don't want you missing the opening ceremony. I got some froggy explorer pants. Of course with better stats, but uh... It doesn't look as stylish, I'm assuming. Yeah, no, not really as stylish as what I already had on. So I'll save those for later. All right. I really want to explore this whole area. Plastic, of course, plastic scraps. What is this? Can I hit this? No, I cannot. Animal bones. The Ifala Desert. Okay, animal bones. Weird. What is this? Raw Lapis Lazuli. Guys, don't make fun of me. I'm, I'm trying to <laughs> say these names as I'm looking at them. But I get Lapis Lazuli. Whatever that does, I. I haven't seen anything that requires this. Oh, he looks upset. And he's level 27, and I'm only level 22. Can I do something, though? Well, kind of fast, man. And you do a lot of that. Oh, okay. Well. Mm -mm. Oh, wait. Hold on. Uh, he reset. Did he gain all his health back? Probably. Okay, he didn't. I just want to. I want to defeat him because I want to see what I get. I'm just curious. But I don't want to die in the process. My weapon is very weak against him. Okay. Twine, coarse leather, rubber, meat. Interesting. That's a bomb. Okay. Not really worth it. Not at my current level. So... What I am going to do for the rest of the day is go deep back into this iron mine. I would like to get lower. Uh, yeah, I think all of my healing items I left. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. They're right here. I was going to say all my healing items I left back at the house. But they're right there.
Yep, see, currently level four. Here we go. I'm still looking for that telescope. One of them telescope pieces for uh, Dr. Chi as well. Magnesium ore, that's nice. Also guys, I can now make magnesium bars, but I haven't found a use for them yet. I did have like a couple commissions that require them. So I made them for the commissions, but that's about it. So I probably need to get further in the story first. Look at that, just ore everywhere. I'm just trying to exhaust my stamina right now. Oh, it's on that side. All right, let's get out of here. We'll run over to the Commerce Guild, get a few commissions, and then I guess we just wait for the opening ceremony. You know, get something in the mail. These telescope pieces, he says I have to get pretty deep in that mine over there, so I'm assuming I need to probably get to about level seven or eight. So I'll just do that in my off time. Taxi, taxi. <laughs> I don't know why it reminds me of that. All right, so let's run over to the Commerce Guild. Wooden sticks, not bad, rubber tubes. Mm, you want five bones, bone, bleh, bloodstone sauce. Wow, I cannot talk today. I can do that. Let me go order some food from the saloon so I can get some uh, stamina back. All right. So I remember I said before, well, this is my earlier videos. I was like, you know, buying food to regain stamina costs a lot, right? But <laughs> of course now, since I can do higher end commissions, it doesn't really phase me too much. You know, I do a higher end commission for about six, 700. I spend like half of that on food to get half my stamina back. And as you can see, I'm at 25,000 now because I've been grinding those commissions. The only reason I regain half my stamina now is because I wanted to go around and gather some scraps and hit some hard rocks to get bloodstones. Which I know there's one that spawns. That's not it. Up here. Yeah, here it is. And there's a few more to spawn. Yeah, 
one right here. We got it. Yeah, once you play this for a while, you pretty much know the spawn points for most of the nodes in the game. Oh, I aggroed the chicken. It's all good. Another hard rock down here. I'm glad the spawn points aren't randomized. They just keep spawning in the same spot every day. So you pretty much do like a speed run of what materials you need if you just plan it out right. As you can see what I'm doing. I'm going straight for the nodes. Also, what's strange to me, you see these level 5 hot honey barbecue ants or whatever? So you meet them at the beginning of the game, but the game never requires you to fight them or need any material from them. Unless I missed something, which I don't think I did. I mean, I might have, but other than that, the game never was like, hey, we need, uh, I don't know, materials from these guys. Which I think is pretty strange. Maybe they, maybe they're just there to like introduce combat. If you wanted to practice, you could practice on them. I'm thinking that could be it. All right, let's head back home. I got myself stuck. And yes, guys, I know my farm is still, well, not farm, but my whole workshop in itself is still barren. Like I said, I've just been focusing on upgrading the machines I needed to upgrade to progress the story. But I do need to sit back and actually, like, go through and <laughs> make my workshop look presentable. Cause right now, it's kind of pitiful. Let's see, I have these going while I'm sleeping. that off I have this going while I'm sleeping and then let's go to bed okay guys so in the next part hopefully I'll get something in the mail and you guys get to see the ceremony all right I'll see you guys later bye bye